everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I'm doing what's called a quality frame walkthrough over here in Ridgeview by Woodside Homes in Sky Canyon. Now, when I had done frame walkthroughs, I was a little surprised because normally I would do a frame walkthrough with something like this. So this one already has the outside done, and right now they're about to do the stucco and paint it. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome model. This is called the Topaz Plan 3. It has three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2093 square feet with a three bay garage. Unfortunately, I can't really inspect the outside like I had anticipated just because they are doing the painting and I would get in everyone's way and I can't do the backyard. Well, let's just go see what I can find out. Um, and I already took a tour inside, which I'll showcase after I take um, pictures of the backyard. New construction everywhere. Here's where the electrical panel is going to be. The cable box. I think that's the AC condenser line. Here's the back patio, which is going to be nice. It's going to have recessed lighting and then also middle for a fan. The backyard's pretty large too. And the nice thing about this model is that they have this beautiful patio. In the video, you'll see I won't wasn't able to go outside and take pictures of the view just because, like I said, they're painting back here. But if you can see little, they have some beautiful mountain views. The house is facing south with a north backyard. So you have all the north mountains. And the nice thing about this house, yeah, it's kind of close to the other house, but since this is the end unit, they have a huge shot side yard. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, let's go inside into the mayhem, into the craziness. It's gonna have a nice little patio too. I like that. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're in the garage and this is going to be your main water line. One is for your uh, water and the other one's for the backyard, the drip system. And this is for the fire sprinklers. And basically that they have to maintain at a 70 PCI uh, right there pressure. And so the orange tubing is for the fire sprinklers that are throughout the entire house. And basically what that does, if um, there's a fire in the house and it reaches about 165 degrees, then just that section of the house will receive um, or get the water. It won't be the whole house will have the fire sprinklers. So this is the, the tandem garage where the extra part is right here. This is one of the sub panels. There's going to be two panels. There's going to be a main electrical panel and a sub panel. Then right here is plumbed for a water softener and then also going to be a tankless water heater. Right now, they are going to stucco the house. I'm trapped in here, just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's start from the front door. Hello, front door. 
And I got my hard hat on. Thank God. Okay. So right here is going to be the half bath. And then this is the plumbing for the half bath. This is your main electrical panel that's going to be on the outside. And then the orange tubing is um, your fiber optics. This is going to be for your vent. The water line and the sewer line. So this is like a flex area and then the great room. Super tall ceilings. And right here is the main condenser line to the right of the house as you walk in. It goes all the way up. If you can follow it, tall ceilings. And then right in here, and the little closet underneath the stairs, it's pretty deep. They're gonna have the smart panel. Um, and it's going to be wired for Cat6, Fiber Optic Cat6, cat low voltage. So that's the smart panel right there. So we're doing the, basically they have the stucco done outside. They just are waiting for the inspections to come through and then they're going to be putting up the drywall. Each phase of construction goes through an approval inspection process by the inspector before it can go on to the next phase. So right here is, looks like the CAT6, and then the smart tubing, and then all the electrical. They opted to have, I think, five or six can lighting in here, and then also is the wiring for the ceiling fan. Now, when you buy in this community, the great room and master come pre-wired for the ceiling fan. The other bedrooms would be an additional cost. And I do believe this is where your thermostat's gonna be right here. And let me look, I have to look at my notes while I'm talking because I wrote down furnace in the attic, four recessed cam lightings. Don't know what that is for. I forgot what he said that was for, that main thing. Oh, but they also did pay extra to have um, speakers, surround sound. And then also they spent a little extra money to have the three pendant lights right there. And then the island right here. The sink's going to be in the middle of the island, so you can see... While I'm here is the refrigerator with the water lines in the refrigerator. Then the pantry is gonna be right here. Double ovens right here. And then you have your cooktop's gonna be here. This is the gas line that goes all the way up throughout the house. That's the gas line right there. And then also the gas line will be right here for the patio. And then the vent for your cooktop. And then in the island will be a sink. So they already have it laid out. The sink, the dishwasher, hot cold water lines, plumbing. And then the island's gonna have a 10 inch overhang with beautiful, beautiful options that they had selected. The big black piping is for your main plumbing line. And then again, that's the fire sprinklers throughout the house. Oh, they're gonna have a Wi-Fi booster. That's where that was. Wi-Fi booster upstairs and downstairs. Let's go upstairs. This home has three bedrooms, so one, two. We'll go over the rest in a minute. And then three for the primary. So this is the larger of the rooms. As you can see, it's 
they paid extra to have it wired for the ceiling fan. And then this is the closet. Then you have the other bedroom, also wired for a ceiling fan. And they spent extra money and got two can lightings in each of the room with another little closet. Then right here is the secondary bathroom. They spent extra to have the double sinks. The main plumbing line, the water lines right there. And then the tub, toilet, and that'll be your, that little tube is for your vent. And then upstairs is the laundry room. It's a good size. Your water lines, I think this is the water softener line, the hot cold, your plumbing, your gas, and that's for the dryer. Hopefully I can get out of here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna walk to the primary bedroom. And of course they taped it off, but the nice thing about this house is they actually have a patio and unfortunately I can't take it a view of it and the house is facing north with no house is facing south with a north back so all those mountains are you can see Mount Charleston it's very beautiful but unfortunately they're stuccoing or painting the house now so I can't look at it um, this is the primary bedroom again where you have all the electrical lines And then also the smart tubing. Then in here, you'll have your hall closet or your closet, your toilet, all the plumbing. And this is going to be the line for the, or they're going to hook it up for that orange tubing for the fire sprinklers. And then it's going to have a double sinks, water lines, that's for the fire sprinklers. Huge shower, it's going to have a nice little bench. I love the options that they selected. And then a, a very large walk-in closet. So once they pass this framing stage, then they're going to probably do the drywall. No, sorry. They're going to do the foam. What do they call this? Insulation. <laughs> they're going to do insulation. Once the insulation gets approved, then they're going to do the drywall right here. And also in this room, they went with five can lighting. Hopefully you can hear me. Let's see if I can take a peek. Nope. Damn, that sucks. So if you're thinking about buying new construction, I am your new construction expert, not only in Summerlin, Sky Canyon as well. To surmise, this model is the Topaz model by Woodside Homes. Let me get my notes. This has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 20, 93 square feet with a three bay garage. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Thanks.